All right, so what we got here is a we're charging up the battery on a Murray 40 inch 12 horsepower by Tecumseh uh, lawnmower. Uh, what we need to do is obviously the air cleaner and setup is missing off this, so we're going to have to order one. And also, we got to clean out the carburetor. She won't run very good, so we're going to clean it and see what's going on. He also said about a leak. Uh, so to get to this carburetor right here instead of working in this close quarters and swearing a lot What you need to do is take the nose off this machine and by doing that there's or How you do that is take these two big screws right off it and this nose will pop right off And then you have easy access to the motor All right, so now we just slide this nose off Gingerly, like a mouse. Alright, so now we're going to have full access to this carburetor. So if you look right on the side of this carburetor, there are these two long threaded screws. Uh, flathead screwdriver, we'll take those off. That's what we're going to do next. So if you take a look here, you see all this dripping. That's actually water coming out. The holy cow, a lot of gas. Uh, gas is shut off, and it's straight water. That's not a good sign. I just have a feeling we're going to be replacing the carburetor here in this video. But you get to see step by step how to mess with the carburetor, clean it, and if that doesn't work, uh, Plan B, new carburetor. So this is going to be a fun one. Probably have some kind of critter chasing out of here soon. That looks like a chipmunk or mouse, rat, whatever. Uh, but this is the air cleaner. We're going to have to give that a thorough cleaning. Uh, we'll set that right there. Save your gasket. Clean that off and put that in a safe spot. And hopefully we don't get attacked by something rabid coming, <laughs> coming off this motor. That'd be freaking funny live on YouTube. Anyhow, next step, we got to take these two bolts right off. The, I mean, the nuts. We'll take the nuts right off and slide this carburetor uh, unhooking the linkage after we unbolt that. So let me get a, a wrench and I'll get right to it. Alright, so uh, these do have a Phillips head on them. They're not nuts. They are sh screws or bolts. 3/8 drive or a 3/8 uh, wrench or a Phillips screwdriver took those off in this particular model. We are now going to unhook our throttle linkages, and we'll we got the gas already shut off. So set up by hand. No, I have to get a pair of pliers. have to, I try to save as much of this gas line as I possibly can, so I, I uh, twist and turn it as I do it. So here is the bad looking carburetor. He said she's seeping gas through the bottom. I'm just judging from the rust, I'm going to clean it up the best I can. But for $15, you can order a brand new carburetor for this. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. Because I'm looking at a ton of rust. And, yeah, this just doesn't look good to me at all. It's almost a waste of time. But we'll go through it uh, in the parts cleaner, soak it overnight, and uh, go from there with some gum out or whatever carbon choke cleaners. See if we can save it. But I don't... I'm not real hopeful. The amount of time that it would take me to actually clean this thoroughly, buy a new one ten times over. So, 15 bucks gets you a new one. Go to eBay. You can go to Amazon.com and you can punch in the Tecumseh motor 
and the 12 horsepower, this is an XL. You punch that in, and it'll give you options. And what you're going to want to do, you can take parts numbers off these, but 9 times out of 10, they don't work because this is old, right? So the new replacement carb, which will be, you know, the same looking carburetor. So you're going to want to look this over and then find the exact match. Everything lines up on it, and then you'll be good to go. And literally, 15 bucks. Okay, let's go and order a new part. So I uh, cautiously took this off. And to do that, you take these three bolts out. Um, actually, these are Phillips heads also, if you don't have a wrench to fit it. And this comes straight off, and as I did it, I cautiously cleaned out, I flipped it upside down and cleaned out everything. Uh, it was a chipmunk's nest, no rabid chipmunk attacked me, so no fear there, all is good. Alright, so here we go, we put this brand new carburetor on, I did buy it from eBay, it was like $16, $17, two days shipping. Um, so she's all set to go, we're going to fire it up. Uh, bolted it on, um, did everything exactly like I did with the old carburetor. Here we go. Let's try to fire this thing up, see what happens. Fire no! doing there is I took a Phillips head screwdriver and I adjusted this I call it an idle screw it's a stop for this to uh, pull back on and idle down so you want to get it so she doesn't stall right and you don't want it so she's revving up high either so you want to get her down to idle um, I hope this helped uh, we got to put the air box on of course and vacuum line is next air cleaner and the top, screw everything back on, and you are ready to mow lawns. I hope this helped. You can fix it too. Appreciate your participation. Please feel free to share these videos, subscribe, and enjoy. Be safe.